Hello everyone, hello. Oh, hello. Hello, that was quick, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, that was, that that was, was quick. Really I hope you had a nice there. sleep. <laughs> <laughs> or a nice Squarespace advert. Or a nice Squarespace advert, yes. Or if you've got YouTube Premium, which you should have, um, there's no ads. No ads at all? Nope. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that sounds terrific. Yeah, man, it's fucking good. Um, so we were talking about YouTube. Yeah, yeah. my... Uh, YouTube consumption is very different to yours. Yep. I get very heavily invested in the community or the creators, and I, I watch people religiously. Like, hopefully, some people are watching us. <laughs> yeah. I watch every video certain people upload. Um, I. It's it's more of a source of entertainment for me than TV or movies or something like that. Yeah. Because it feels more, it's more regular for one, and it's more yeah. genuine, I think. Yeah. And it doesn't take an hour, two hours, three hours out of your day. Yeah. It takes you ten minutes out of your day to watch it. Yeah, I get it. And you. it's so great to sit there and watch something like that while you're eating your breakfast or something. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I feel you. I don't know. I, I just don't really care about their lives. <sighs> That's because you haven't found anyone to care about. Yeah, you can't probably. just go on YouTube and just search looking for someone's life to care about. <laughs> There's got to be something that draws you in first. Yeah, know? yeah, yeah. I don't just search for someone new to care about. You know? I don't know. I'd like to be fair with Joe Rogan. I do get it a bit. Yeah. With Joe Rogan, I'll listen to Joe Rogan. I'll be interested in the shit he's doing. Like mm. when he did the carnivore diet, that inspired me to do it also. Yeah. And. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was talking about it and he had like this doctor on talking about it and he was talking about how like it's really good for you and he really enjoyed being on it and stuff and I was like the fuck like this sounds awesome yeah and I it, it does feel more personal like that mm -hmm. how the hell am I doing this oh okay so I'm gonna get over there bag. yeah I'm so confused mate go down yeah right left yeah up left yeah. Can you not go up there? Yeah. And then like that. Oh. Right. Yeah, we can't do that. Fuck. Okay. So you've got to smash that them tires there. Oh, yeah, and then yeah, kick that cross. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got it. Easy. We're puzzled. We're like Professor Layton. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, and I, I kind of Andrew Schultz, as well, is another one mm. that I really have got into. I listen to his podcast. Like his podcast is fucking. Brilliant. Mm. So, so good. I watch, like, like, that shit's fucking hilarious. I watch every video that, like, Cody Co will upload. Yeah. Every video. Yeah. Because it's not, it's a 10 minute video and he uploads, like, maximum once a week. So it's yeah. like 10 minutes out of your week. It's not much. I love, I prefer him to upload more and I'd watch every single one still because, yeah, on your break at work, like, it's something to do. Yeah. Yeah. And he's off. so funny as he's well. He's such a it? funny guy. I'm jealous. <laughs> he is an absolute superpower. Fucking mm. is. Oh my god, look at her feet. <laughs> 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 look at those feet. <laughs> Maylene. Maybe it's Maybelline. Oh fuck. Meditate. Always good for you. Always good for you. I'm yeah. trying to troll, I've got laces in my mouth, so it's like not quite working. <laughs> I've been doing it. <laughs> Stop in my face while I've been Well, I discussed this yesterday, but obviously we lost it, but I love when people eat when I'm watching a video of them. I like the sound of them stuff in their face. <laughs> it makes me feel I'm like, yeah, yeah. They're enjoying that. It's yeah. like, yeah, go on son. Yeah, you get that. <laughs> you get that bread, man. You get that bread. All right, I was gonna stop. As long as they're not going like this, I'm gonna do a quick impression. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> not like that. Like this. <laughs> like I used to know a guy who didn't ever close his mouth when he ate. Yeah, yeah. So he'd like smack his lips. He'd go. Nom, 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 nom. God. Awful. He's such a he's disgusting, disgusting boy. And it's something that when you notice it the first time, yeah, 
It's just like addictive. Every single time they eat, you're like, God, that's annoying. I want to punch you in your fucking stupid face. Yeah. Was, was that the bloke you killed in middle school? The bloke I killed in middle school? Yeah. You know that guy that you had, you went to prison for five years? Do you not remember? <laughs> no, I don't actually. No. Tell me, tell so, what, so what happened? Was I tell me, tell was me. I'm not supposed to bring that one up. So no, tell, me, tell me what happened. <laughs> no, bro, if you don't want to... No, it's right. I, 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 I want to hear the story. I want to see what you <laughs> fucking <laughs> come up with here. <laughs> I sure can't believe you did it. I, I broke a um, dinner lady's neck once. <laughs> it all started. This with, is a with, true story. With, this is a true story. What I broke you? a dinner lady's neck once. <laughs> who who am I friends with? I didn't actually snap it with my hand. <laughs> I uh, you didn't, like twist it. I dropped a grape on the floor, <laughs> and then she slipped on it and broke her neck. And I'm not sure where it was broken, but she came with a neck brace the next day. So, Holy shit. Yeah. Also, lobbed a pear once across the cafeteria, canteen. Yeah. And it landed on the floor, and then it rolled all the way in and curved around right into the kitchen. And it was way funnier at the time. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was something that you really should have been there. It's me just <laughs> describing how a pear rolls on the floor. Doesn't cause any entertainment for anything involved. I was, I was like mentally... Imagining it right, <laughs> I was just like, okay, oh, yeah. so the pear rolls into the canteen. Okay, yeah, what happens next? Then, then, then next happens with, what happens next with the pear? <laughs> Wasn't that exciting? I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that for free. I'll tell you that for fucking free. What superpower would you have if you could have a superpower? Um. Hmm. I would. Uh have so much love see when I asked the question and you didn't answer straight away with a superpower I know I knew you'd come out with something that just was not normal I would have so much love oh, fuck off how are you gonna fight Thanos with that because the you love, love him so to death bro the power of Christ is within us all <laughs> fuck it up. well I've got two answers I'd choose either <laughs> shapeshifting <laughs> <laughs> the power of love is stronger than anything It's else. annoying, you can't really have a normal conversation with you sometimes because when you're in this mood you just don't answer any question I throw out there. I, I was answering it, you just didn't let me fucking you, finish. Okay, tell me how you would have the power of love and it would be fucking... <sighs> is you actually going to listen to what I'm going to say? Go for it, yeah. I'm ready. So, um... Oh, we're so fucked by the way. But, um... Yeah, so the power of, um... No. <laughs> the, uh, the spiritual power of love would transcend any kind of evil that it would throw that would be thrown its way. So, the love is power. So what you're saying is, you wouldn't have a superpower at all. It wouldn't do anything cool. I, I'd, I'd help. Yeah, I don't know. It, it'd be okay. You want like a classic fucking boring ass. Oh, will you be invisible or really brainy? That's, is that what you're saying? It's not a boring question because I like to see why <laughs> people a, would do it. Why okay. people choose what they would choose. Yeah, unless they choose something that you ain't heard of before. Well, that, it, that wasn't a superpower though. That was just being a simp. <laughs> 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 Alright, fuck you. Uh, <laughs> I'd have fucking... I quite like Wolverine shit, he's got some good shit going on. Yeah, I feel like he's cheating, he's got a lot going on. It's like... Uh, Being able to heal myself instantly. Um, while also having claws that come out whenever you want. Yeah, that would be and fucking... metal bones. <laughs> that would be it. He's pretty elite, isn't he? Yeah, he's, he's a bit of a don. Mm. Oh, this isn't looking good. But then, <laughs> if you've got Wolverine's powers, yeah. they're only good for fighting, you know, like... You're destined to be in a fight then, you know what I mean? Yeah. Whereas, the two answers I usually give are teleportation, because if you're not fighting someone, that shit's just gonna be really handy in your life. Yeah. If you're shopping and you're like, fuck, getting the bus home, just teleport. Even if you're fighting, it's handy. You're losing a fight, and just teleport. Yeah. Grab them, teleport them in the sky, and let go, and then teleport down. And they'll <laughs> fall down and won't be able to teleport. Solve. Problem solved. Easy. Or, I'd choose shapeshifting, like Beast Boy from Teen Titans. He can just turn into any animal that he wants. 
Yeah, that's pretty dope. So, like, you could be in a fight, turn into a fucking gorilla, beat the shit out of them, and then turn into, like, a dinosaur, stomp on them, then turn yeah. into an ant and escape and they wouldn't see. Yeah, get up. And then I a bird, know, me, you like, fly away. I don't want to have a superpower. No? I mean that. So, I mean, think about it. Just now. <laughs> and, um, Did you just die? <laughs> yeah, bro. Oh, no. We got wiped out by this fucking Lucario, but, um... Oh. Having a superpower kind of takes away the joy of being human. Is, it, is there a joy of being human? Yeah, the joy of being a human is watching yourself like get better at shit. That's for me, that's what I like. Like, and if there was no struggle, life would feel like completely pointless. To me. That's just the way I see it. And like, if you haven't got something to fight against, like... The whole thing just seems kind of pointless. Yeah, I see... Once you've got everything, people get like depressed as fuck. Like when Tyson Fury, for example, beat Klitschko, he had achieved his life goal, and then he just got depressed as fuck and nearly killed himself. And I think that's, that's similar to how I feel if I had like a superpower which transcended everything. I'd be like, it'd be sick for the first few days, and then after that, I'd be like, eh. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, but then that doesn't it still doesn't mean that you're you've fulfilled your life. Yeah, you know? yeah. I suppose you can still have like a different purpose. Yeah, like if you chose invisibility, that doesn't mean that you're instantly the best fucking scientist in the world. You know, it's just a. You just can go invisible as well. Yeah, it's just yeah, additional. I guess. Yeah, just means that you can sneak into a bank and steal fuckloads of money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a good point actually. Mm. I've really thought about it like that. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't mean that your life's complete because superheroes have their struggles too, man. That's it. Because like, if you watch Spider Man. It's like, um, when people, like, try to make money in their life and shit. They, like, spend the whole time, like, trying to make money, and they're like, yeah, I'll be so happy when I get rich. They finally get rich, and then they're like... Now what? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, I've done all the struggle, yeah, all, I've the, got all, all the shit, journey. The journey's, like, the best bit. Hmm. That's why Elon Musk, he's so fucking rich that he's just, like, fucking about now. He's like, yeah. Right, I'll get this space. <laughs> There's nothing left for me on this planet. Bro, he's absolutely sorted, like. <laughs> you got to worry about nothing. He's nuts. That's I said that, he's got to worry about everything. I saw a tweet the other day, it was like, nobody could fucking handle a day in the life of Elon Musk. It's true. His life looks so fucking hard, like. It, really. Sorry? I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to, fuck that. You're not a stress that Elon Musk is under. Brain. He's a robot, he doesn't have a brain. He's just got a battery. <laughs> <laughs> Elon Musk doesn't have a brain, Charlie Clark, 2020. Confirmed. Bye everyone. <laughs> <laughs>